Fostering a child can bring many rewards, but the costs involved can be considerable. Mm, increasingly, young people are staying with their foster parents after they turn 18, but are families getting the financial support that they need? Let's talk about this with foster parent Helen Rawdon and Vicky Carruthers, who's one of the nearly 140 young people, Helen, that, uh, that you've cared for. Thank you both of you very much indeed for coming in. I suppose, Helen, we just posed the question uh, in the introduction there. Are you getting the financial support you need? Yeah, in the East Riding, where we're from... Um, in we Beverly? Have a, in Beverly, yes. We have a um, support group called Pathway um, when they're 18 and if a child wants to stay put and if the carers are able to do that, we, we do get um, a financial help towards that. Um, and they can stay with us till they're 21. And I think that is a major part because it helps you to be able to get the resources and to um, get things that you need to help that child to go into independence. Just, just explain where... Skills. The, sorry to interrupt. Just explain pathway. Is that something that was already there? Or is that something that's new that has come about as a result of the government putting what it says is £44 million in to trying to help this across, across the whole of the country? In our area, it's there. I'm not. I'm not sure that it's everywhere, yeah. um, but it's it's been there um, for quite quite a few years that I can remember. Yeah. Um, but I think it's um, and we're lucky that we're from that area, so we get that support. So when when a child wants to stay with you, you get that help. So it's not such a massive. Um, difference in when you, you're not losing out on a lot of things and yeah. it also helps I think foster carers to make that decision of whether they want to do stay in put and they want to do independence um, with the young people because um, it helps out that way as well for mm. that decision. And Vicky you're 22 now aren't you but you, you decided to stay with Helen and the foster family well, until you were 21. Why was that so important for you to do that after the age of 18? Um, well, when I was 18, I wasn't really ready for independence. I'd only just left college, um, so I was looking for a job. Um, so I wasn't financially ready. Um, so you needed, you felt you needed that security of being being with a family, and you were able to do it in this occasion. I mean, there are some other. Uh, children who haven't been able to do it and obviously what we were talking today is about the, the scheme that's being extended by the government or introduced so that more young people can. It's great I'm sure yeah. to have the support of somebody like Helen who what was able to help you move, in, move yeah. into your flat. Yeah she helped me decorate my flat, she did most of it while I was at work. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's great. So she did most of that. Um, so I've had a lot of support off Helen mm -hmm. um, and I've had a lot of support off the pathway as well with mm -hmm. setting up my flat. How old were you when you first went to Helen? I was 14. OK. Just explain what having those years with her has meant for you. Um, it's meant a lot to me. She's done a lot for me. Um, Been there and... Vicky is, is like my daughter now. Yeah. She's, she, she'll always will be. She's, yeah. she's like my daughter. And we've supported each other. Vicky works very hard for what she's achieved. She's had to work very hard for it. Um, like I said, she's worked straight away from college. She did go to college and she graduated from college and then she um, got two jobs and she's running a flat. She's got a little car. Mm -hmm. she's, she, she's really done well through this. But I think it would have been very different if she'd have had to leave at 18. Mm -hmm. Vicky wasn't ready and she... she gives them that learn general things like cooking and things like that when they're 18 how many people can go out and really have all them all them um you know, that sort of things mm -hmm. to do that you can't and vicky i'm sure that you and helen are going to stay very close for, for years to come yeah. you want to put as part of your life for the future i'm sure I do yeah she can't get rid of me <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, oh. that's a that's a nice thing to hear yeah. um <laughs> Helen, thank you very much indeed. Vicky, thank you very much indeed to you too. Thanks for coming and sharing yeah. your story with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much.